recently banned from Amazon by the FDA, NAC, or N-acetylcysteine, is a life-saving supplement that's been sold in the U.S. since the 1960s. It works in part by delivering the raw materials that your cells need to manufacture the body's master antioxidant, glutathione, which is powerful enough to detox heavy metals, toxic drugs, free radicals, and other poisons at the cell level. With the recent industrial compound graphene oxide, or GO, most likely coming into contact with humans, I wanted to see how NAC and glutathione stack up against their new opposition. It turns out that GO has been shown to be toxic to brain cells, cause destruction of red blood cells, impair the immune system, and cause blood clots. Many studies have shown that graphene oxide toxicity is a result of it inducing oxidative stress, as the material itself is basically oxidized graphite. Oxidize can be defined as to combine with oxygen, which is essentially to make into an oxide, and it can be otherwise explained as increasing the positive charge or valence of a molecule by removing an electron. Removing an electron from a molecule creates an unstable free radical, which in turn has a high affinity for bonding with other electrons in the matter around it, creating more unstable, inflammatory free radicals in a chain reaction which ultimately damages the cell. Antioxidants like NAC, on the other hand, are compounds that slow or stop oxidation. A review of NAC in Psychiatry quotes, In addition to providing cysteine for GSH production, NAC has been shown to scavenge oxidants directly. As a good example, one recent study showed that NAC could directly reduce graphene oxide, adhering to the reduced GO surface and avoiding geo-facilitated oxidation of glutathione. This information suggests that NAC may be effective at lessening the toxic effects of GO exposure. To support this idea, a recent study found that NAC was very effective at dissolving and preventing blood clots, one of the most dangerous effects of GO toxicity. And another study showed that spike protein damage in cells was, quote, rescued by treatment with N-acetyl L-cysteine, a reactive oxygen species inhibitor. So it looks like there's some decent evidence that NAC may be effective against geo-induced oxidative stress, but is graphene oxide in its reduced form any less toxic or easier to remove from the body? To help answer that, we'll take a closer look at glutathione, or GSH. Composed of the amino acids cysteine, glycine, and glutamic acid, GSH acts as an antioxidant and donates the missing electron to quell free radicals and oxidative stress. In research to determine the possible toxic effects of graphene oxide on the eyes, scientists found that geo-induced time and dose-dependent cell toxicity to eyes via oxidative stress and that short-term repeated geo-exposure generally resulted in damage to the eye, which may be alleviated by the antioxidant GSH. Other researchers focused on the oxidation level of the graphene oxide in regards to eye exposure and found that higher levels of geo-oxidation corresponded to more serious cell toxicity and therefore higher oxidative stress and inflammation in cells. This strongly indicates that graphene oxide is more toxic than reduced graphene oxide and that NAC and GSH are effective at reducing its toxicity. A final study supports this theory where they found that short-term repeated geo-exposure can cause numerous harmful effects to the eyes, while reduced graphene oxide causes no significant eye toxicity in mice. In regards to eye health, aside from NAC and GSH, one antioxidant stands tall above all the rest when it comes to mitigating damage from all kinds of oxidative stress. Down in the video description, you'll find a link to my quick article on that amazing supplement. And concerning glutathione, the body's supreme detoxifier, Join me in the next video where we review the two very best supplements to increase your cell levels in the long term. Thank you for watching.